Gee, Tiffany, this undercover assignment's getting to be fun. Will you cool it? You're gonna blow your cover. Oh, relax. Nobody heard me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just... I just can't believe Professor Shaw. How could somebody murder such a sweet man? Well, we'll find the answer to that question when I catch the stalker. You know, I keep wondering if that's ever gonna happen. Don't worry, Tiffany. We'll get him. I promise. Hey, listen. Uh, Roxanne and I are going to the memorial service for Professor Shaw. Are you coming? Yeah, but first I want us to finish this, ex this experiment. Okay, you got about an hour. We'll meet you on the front of the chapel steps, okay? Oh! Harry, uh... I'm sorry. I'll... I'll get it right next time, okay? Mary Lynn, what the hell's wrong with you? That's a sixth take. You should be able to do it blindfolded by now. Look, Harry, I'm doing my best. Take five, everyone. Hey, Clint, how are you doing? Fine, 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 well, fine. Good. From that smile on your face, I guess Vicky's back from California, huh? Oh, now, am I that easy to read? Ah, uh, pretty much, yeah. How'd it go? Did she get any leads about the whereabouts of her daughter? No, no. Man, I'm real sorry to hear that. She must really be broken up about that, huh? Well, she's finally facing the fact that finding her daughter is almost futile. I mean, it's a one in a million long shot. However, she has uh, decided to kind of kick back and concentrate on the kids, you know, and hmm. Jessica and the boys and uh, little CJ. And his horse. His horse? What horse? Why, he says Bay Mary gave birth to this beautiful stud colt. In fact, even went so far as to make it a gift to CJ for his birthday. How ah. about that? I, I want to go tell Tina. Is she upstairs with Vicky? No. She's not back from New York yet. Yeah, sure she is. She, she called Renee, said she was going to go up to the mountain, check out a few sites, and then come back here. And what's the matter? Well, Court, I just called the ski lodge. I was uh, going to make some reservations for Friday dinner, you know, up at the lodge. Uh -huh. And uh, I was going to take Vicky and the kids up to the cabin for the weekend, but the manager said that the weather conditions are so, are, are so bad and they're just getting worse. Oh, Clint, I don't like that. Tina should have been home hours ago. Yeah, but if the road conditions are as bad as Joe says, it could take Tina twice as long to get back to town. Yeah, either that or she's stranded somewhere up on that mountain. Gabrielle, please, what are you doing? You've got to help me get out of here. Right, calm down. I'm right here. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack or something. I can't stand being penned up like this. I, 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 I can't breathe. Tina, there is plenty of air down here, so just take a deep breath and relax. Relax? You want me to relax? We fall in a hole, and, and then, we get, then we get lost in this, this, this maze under, underground or whatever the hell it is, and, and then I get caught in this, this cage, and you want me to relax? I can't be certain that I can't get out. I won't even budge. Look, look you got you to gotta help me get out of here. Look, look for some kind of a, a button, a, a, a control panel, something to push to open this gate. Do you see it? No, I don't see anything. Well, well look over here on this wall for some kind of button, anything to open this gate. Please, you got to help me get out of here. Yeah. Well, Gabrielle, we gotta find a way to open this gate. Gabrielle, don't leave me here. Gabrielle! Gabrielle! Come here! You gotta help me out of here! You. What the hell did you leave the hotel? You gotta stop running and turn yourself into the police. Oh my god, no, we can't do that now. Yes, we have to go now because if we go back now, Rafe and Herb may give us a break. Let's go. Don't be a fool. Wait, I found it. I found the secret tunnel. Look. <laughs> and listen. Listen. What is that? Do you hear that? Do you hear it? It sounds like machinery in there. That's right. Daddy, where is that light coming from? From the tunnel. Sweetheart, you thought your old man had lost it, didn't you? You thought I was ranting and raving because of the fever. Well, I was right all along. I found the secret tunnel that Michael Grant has been wasting his money on all these years. <laughs> Just think, your father, the man everyone thinks is a stupid old fool. Well, I've outsmarted them all. This is the reason behind Michael's plot against Vicky. This is why he kidnapped her and tried to hypnotize her? He wanted to bring back Nikki Smith because he was certain that she alone could lead him to this spot, to this tunnel. Okay, okay. If you're right, 
If this tunnel can prove that Michael Grand kidnapped Vicky, we gotta go back right now and tell the police. Yeah, we gotta go talk to Ray. Oh, oh, later, Christine. I have work to do. What are you doing? There's a treasure down there, and I'm going to get it. No, you can't go down there. Come on, let the cops take care of it. Leo, this is, you're just gonna hurt yourself. That treasure is mine, and I'm going to claim it. <laughs> Son, don't get yourself all worked up. Come on, Clint, you know, Tina, her idea of roughing it is being in a hotel suite where there's only one bathroom. Now, I'm telling you, she is up there on that mountain and she's in trouble. You're sure she's up on the mountain? She called Renee, said that's where she was headed. Yeah, but, Cord, if the weather is as bad as, as Joe said it is, those roads could be impassable. Now, if that's true, the sheriff's office would put roadblocks up all over the place. Tina has probably just turned around and is headed back to town. If that's the case, she would have been back hours ago. Look, maybe she stopped off at Gabrielle's to fill her in on the on the uh, interior design seminar. Maybe she stopped at the hotel. I don't know about that, Clint. Come on, she's been away for a week. The first thing she would want to do is come back here and check up on her son, don't you think? No, I got a bad feeling about this. Tina is in trouble, and she should have called. All right, look, why don't you uh, why don't you give Gabby a call and find out if she stopped off over there, or if she at least gave her a call? Good huh? Idea. Good idea. Now just keep calm, Cord. Oh, come on, girl. Be your Gabby's. If you had listened to me in the beginning and not gone wandering off by yourself, we wouldn't be in this mess now. Oh, great. You're trying to blame me. Huh? You're the one who wanted to explore. I just wanted to find a way out of here. You are giving me such a headache. Well, then help me out of here. Tina, you know I have a right mind to leave you in there while I look around. At least then I know you wouldn't get into trouble. No, you can't, you can't leave me in here. But what if a sword came down and cut me in two or something? Or what if, what if there's a monster or something that's just waiting to have me for dinner? Tina, look, there aren't any monsters down here. So pull yourself together and stop behaving like a child. And besides, if there were any of the original inhabitants here and they did hear you, well, there's no telling what they might do to an intruder. After all the years of being down here by themselves, I think they'd be happy to see somebody alive come back down here, unless they're like that skeleton that came out of that vault. Well, there is light and air. I suppose somebody could have survived this place, but I hope not. You mean you hope not? How could you say something that cruel? Well, <laughs> well it's just I, I don't think they would have had a very nice life. That's what I meant by it. I wonder if there's a map somewhere in this library. This... Would you forget about a map and just help me lift this gate up? Come on, Gabrielle. Dean, honestly, I don't think there's anything I can do to help you. Or maybe you just don't want to try, is that it? Maybe Cord was right all along. You aren't my friend, are you? Maybe you never even were. What is it about this place? Who told you about here? It doesn't really matter now. Oh, yes, it does. I want to know exactly what is so important here that you're willing to risk your life and mine to find it. Tina, I'm just interested to see how these people live down here. Doesn't this whole place just fascinate you? No! No, it doesn't fascinate... I know what it is. Of course, there's money down here, isn't there? Probably a whole lot of it, because that's the only thing that seems to matter to you anymore. So I guess my father and these men, they hid a lot of money in here, and somehow you found out about it. Is that it? Yes. There is a tremendous fortune down here. A fortune in gold. How do you know that? Trust me, I do. And when I get that cold, I will have everything I've ever dreamed of. You really are sick. Oh? Oh, that's great coming from you, the original material girl. You may be little Miss Perfect these days, but there was a time when you used every trick in the book to get your hands on the Lord Fortune. The Lord Fortune is part of my inheritance. I'm afraid you don't have that excuse. You are a whole different story. I remember when I first met you, all you ever wanted in life was just, just the love of a good man and to be able to raise your son. Yeah, and I was an idiot to believe in such fairy tale romances. I learned the hard way. And the one thing I learned was there's only one person you can depend on, and that's yourself. That's exactly what I'm going to do. When I get this gold, I could be a very wealthy woman. And when that happens, no one will be able to hurt me again. Gabriel, would you please just listen to me? No, I think I've heard just about enough from you. Tina, I have to find this gold, and I'm going to find it alone. Gabrielle! Now come back! Thank you. Damn, I can't believe it. Hi, you guys. Oh, Renee. 
Hi. Hey, listen, Renee, uh, Tina hasn't called you by any chance, has she? No, darling. Vicky asked me to stop by so she could tell me about her California trip. Do you mean Tina isn't back yet? No, I, I just talked to Gabrielle or some of Gabrielle's people. I talked to the construction foreman over at the hotel. They looked for her. They didn't find her, so which means Tina is probably still up on that mountain. Oh, my lordy, darling, then you'd better call the sheriff and have somebody go out and start looking for her. Well, he just got off the phone with the sheriff. What do you have to say, sir? He said that some of his troopers checked all, some, all the back roads and trails, and they came up with some skiers, but no Tina. What about her car? No, not a sign of it. Well, then there you are. She's obviously headed back this way. No, Clint, come on. You know how many roads and trails there are on that mountain? There's no way the troopers could have got to every road up there. It's a big mountain. Darling, maybe she started out and, and, and she had car trouble on the highway. Then why didn't the troopers find her car? Oh, Lordy, you're right. Oh, Court, I am so sorry. Why didn't I talk her out of going up there in the Come first on, place? Hey, there's no way you can talk Tina out of anything. Once she gets her mind set on something, forget about it. No, I have to go home and have to find her and bring her back home. No, darling, wait, wait. The roads are closed. I'm going to have to find some way through there. Court, darling, why don't you use Ace's helicopter? And then you'll be able to cover a wider territory. Yes, uh, look, I know two specific places that we were looking at for the house. I'm going to go check out those places first, and then I will come back. If not, I will come back and use the chopper, okay? <sighs> Uh, wait a minute, Cord. Wait, pl please, don't try to talk me out of this, Clint. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm going along with you. Clint, come on. Vicky just got back. You don't hey, have... don't waste time arguing with me. Now, come on. Let's get a move on it. Listen, uh, Vicky's upstairs with the kids. Would you tell her that we're going up to the home sites and look for Tina up there, and then we'll uh, slip on over the mountain to the cabin, and I'll, I'll let her know what's up. Oh, of course I will. And you guys take it real careful, you hear? All right. Gabrielle, don't leave me alone here. Tina, I told you, I'm not going very far and I won't be very long. But you don't know what's beyond this room. Well, there's only one way for me to find out. I have to go and investigate. No, no, well, 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 get me out of here first and then I'll go help you investigate. Just don't leave me alone here. Tina, there are no witches or goblins or monsters that are going to come and eat you up. I promise you, you will be perfectly safe. Well, what about you? I mean, Amy, if all that gold is down here. Do you really think there aren't going to be any more booby traps like this to keep people from stealing it? And what happens? What happens if you end up in a cage like this and we'll both be dead and we'll both end up like that skeleton that came out of that vault? But, Gabrielle, is that what you really want? I don't think so. And it'll only take you just a few minutes to get me out of here. And I promise your gold will still be there. I guess you're right. It would be better if we stuck together. Thank goodness you're coming to your senses. All right, just, just help me lift this gate up, okay? Uh-uh, before we start, let's get one thing straight. Fine, fine, I know what it is, but when I get out of here, that I stay right by your side, I won't wander off, I promise. Are you satisfied? That's the first thing. The second thing is I want you to promise that it will remain a secret that we found this place. Who would believe me anyway? Tina, I mean it. I want your solemn word that you won't tell anyone about our secret. Fine, you've got my word. If you betray me. Have I ever betrayed a promise to you before? No, but if you get the undying urge to go and tell Vicky... I won't say a word. And thirdly, for heaven's sake, stop asking me so many questions. What, what do, you, do you want this whole thing etched in blood? Is that what you're waiting for? Look, if you just help me get out of here, I'll even help you find the goal. Just help me lift this gate. All right, all right. I just want to make sure you understand the conditions of your freedom. I do, I do. All right, now just, just help me lift this thing, okay? Come on. This. Well, we have to be. We can't stop. Just keep trying. Come on, just lift it. Are you all right? No. Where's your father? He's down there. Dad! Come back! I'll be perfectly all right, Christina. Just go back to the hotel and wait for me. Now, don't tell anybody where I am. Will you promise me that? Christine, will you give me your word? Of yes! All right! When I come back up with the treasure, we'll be rich. You can have anything your heart desires. Anything! Daddy, can you hear me? Daddy, come back! God, we've got to go down there and find him. No, we got to go to Landview and get Rafe and a rescue team up here now. Rafe, there is no way Rafe is going to believe this story. He's already mad at us. There is no way he's going to believe us. Well, we're just going to have to convince him. And even if he does come back here, what do we have to show him? An entrance to an underground no, tunnel? No, this isn't just any tunnel. This can prove that Michael was plotting against Vicky. Come on. No, once again, it's going to be Michael's word against ours. He's going to claim he has nothing to do with it. Who do you think Rafe is going to believe? 
And then Michael will come here and he'll know where the entrance to the tunnel is. He'll come down here and he'll kill my father. Is that what you want? No. Then come on, Wade. We've got to go down there, help my father find the treasure. That is the proof that we need to convict Michael and throw him in jail for the rest of his life. We've come this far with another two hours. Especially if it'll get us off the hook. Your father better be right about this. Then you'll come with me? I'll go down there and look for a couple of hours. Two hours. That's it. Do we have a deal? Deal. Should I go first? You know how to do this? Yeah, I've done this many a time. Easy is pie. You know, you don't have to take that garbage from Harry. He's starting to sound just like Randy Stone. No, he isn't. He has every right to be upset with me. I should have gotten it right first take. Now we're trying for number seven. Well, yeah, I know, but I mean, he's just making you more nervous by yelling at it you. It isn't Harry. It's Wade. Wade? Um, well, what about him? The police think that he's back in the States. Really? Well, since when? This morning. Has he called you yet? No. But he's in terrible trouble, and he probably just doesn't want to get me involved. Oh, Mary Lynn, you're dreaming. No. I know that that's why he hasn't called me. No, he hasn't called you because he's a coward and he can't face you. I mean, that's why he wrote that letter ending your marriage. Well, I think that letter is a forgery. And so does Renee. Renee? You showed it to Renee? Yeah. She knows Wade pretty well. She thinks that if he wanted a divorce, he'd come to me and talk to me face to face. Well, then she's dreaming, too. Neil, we exchanged vows that were meant to be forever. And I know Wade meant every word that he said at that ceremony. I just still have to believe that. We invested a lot into this marriage. And I think that it's worth fighting for. I just want him to give me a second chance. I really... I still love him. Mary Lynn. He ran off to Canada with another woman. I'm sorry, but that just proves he doesn't care about you anymore. This is a closed set, my friend. What are you doing here? I'm all for fan clubs, but from now on, I'd appreciate it if you conduct your business away from the studio. Well, Neil is more than just the president of my fan club. He's a good friend, and he's just trying to make me feel better, Bo. Mary Lynn, I know that you're going through a real tough time right now, and I'm glad that you have uh, friends that are so concerned about you, but only cast and crew are allowed in the studio. That's the only way I have of keeping control around here. Okay, I understand. Okay, so from now on, you're going to have to restrict your visits to the lobby. No, w wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, I, I don't get in the way here. And besides, I mean, Mary Lynn needs me. I mean, Randy Stone has threatened her life. Did you know that? No, I am the guy who saved her from the creep, and he is still out on the loose somewhere. He's not going to get to her here. I beefed up security. She's perfectly safe. Well, that's what everyone thought in Philly. This is not Philly. Now, trust me. I'm not going to let anything happen to Mary Lynn. Okay. You're right. I'm sorry. If you say that she's safe, then she's safe. No hard feelings. You understand my position, Mary Lynn, don't you? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Tough day, huh? Well, it's gone from bad to worse. Listen, is there anything I can do? I mean, uh, you've come to my rescue a couple of times, and I'd really like to return the favor. Thanks. But no, I think I can handle it. You know what? I don't think John and Bo would let Randy Stone come within a mile of this studio. No, I know that. And it's not Randy. It's Wade. I can't let him mess up my life like he is. I have to realize that my marriage is over and that he's gone. And like Neil said, Wade doesn't care about me anymore. Yeah, well, that's Neil's opinion. You thought the same thing, Audrey. 
Okay, so maybe I can be wrong, too. But look, you know way better than anybody in the whole world, right? So that means that you have got to trust your own instincts on this. You can't go listening to what other people say, especially Neil. He's just trying to help me. Uh, yeah, help, help you or help himself. What is that supposed to mean? Mary Lynn, this guy is not um, the most objective guy in the world when it comes to you. I mean, it's obvious how he feels about you. And you can't go listen to what somebody like that says, and, and you're going to take his he, advice and he, leave ways. He's just and... a friend. He wouldn't do anything like that. Yeah, well, maybe he wishes he was more. He just doesn't want to see me hurt, Audrey. Okay. I hope you're right. Listen. Do yourself a favor and don't make any decisions that you're going to regret before you get a chance to talk to Wade face to face. I mean, if you really love this guy, and I know you do, you just can't give up on him that easy. I wouldn't tell anyone where you are. I don't want you wandering around here by yourself. Wade and I are going to help you find the treasure. Lead the way. I'm sorry I hit you, Wade. Are you all right? Forget it. Dad, is that where the treasure is? Where the light's coming from? We'll find out soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> 